In this tutorial I will show how to use Revit to create legends of color scale from the simulation done within the Vasari as seen here and here and to explain a little bit about how I have done it before I go into the more detailed workflow these are Revit legends and consist of reference planes with images taken from Vasari's two different simulations the solar radiation and the wind tunnel simulation. Here we are in Vasari and start by the legend of the solar radiation. I've run the solar radiation. I have created a different kind of legends, one for summer and one for winter because it scales itself for the maximum and minimum value. So I need to have two different legends. In this example I'm just showing it for the summer and what I do I'm zooming in on the on the legend to have it as high as possible in the resolution. Then I am launching the snipping tool, selecting the rectangular clip to control how much of the screen I take print screen of and then taking the legend here and then right click and save as. And to make it easier for yourself, then it's a very good idea to have a very structured and clear method of naming these different images. The legend, in this case I'm calling scale, solar radiation, summer, from 0 to 250 kilowatt per square meter, and then save. And I do a similar thing within the wind tunnel. I launch it, let it run, change the color scale to that minimum or maximum that fits to these conditions. Launching the snipping tool, use the rectangular clip and take a screen print of the color legend like this and save this as well. This one I'm calling scale wind simulation from 0 to 5 meter per second and then save. Back in Revit, first step is to create a new legend from view legends and give it a logical name. It could be scale solar summer. And this one I'm also giving the same scale as the views and in this case they are in 1 to 1500 so I choose custom and type in 1500 and this makes it easier for scaling it to the right size and then OK to create this new one. Here I start by creating just a reference plane just to have some kind of geometry inside the legend here. Close it. And of course now we have it right here, but if we didn't have this one, like if I zoom in and drag this new legend on this sheet, something like this, remove the title by going to properties, say no title, select this one, activate. For these simulation here, I maybe want to have something that is in this scale, but if you haven't done it, then you have to figure out which dimension you want. So I could copy this reference plane by selecting it and press CO to copy it. It should be 45,000 and make one vertical and then create another small reference up here that I will use for insert to the frame. So I have the option of placing it in the same way for all of the different sheets for these simulations. Next step is to import the image of the color scale. Go to insert image select the right file, in this case the scale solar radiation summer, open it and typically it's too big as shown here. So you need to scale it down either just in these points here or you could also use the scale function. First I just move it as close as possible to the right place. I could also use the arrow keys on the keyboard to place it. Then I could zoom a little bit out and activate scale, the graphical, have the start point. And this length I'm selecting now, I can scale down to this reference line, zoom in around here and scale it. And then we can have it in the, in the right scale. And it looks uh, quite okay this. And when I'm finished scaling it, I right click and say deactivate view, select this one, activate move. And now I can select the intersection between these two reference planes, just place it over here. As you can see now I have the option of have something to snap at. So let's say if this was the solar radiation and I can place them in the same way for the other views on the other sheets. The legend for the wind, I could just duplicate this one, right click on it under legends, right click, duplicate with detailing, important to remember that. Remove the image by deleting it, placing a new one, in this case selecting the scale for the wind, say open, place it and 
do it in the same way as done before by scaling it to the reference planes here. Using the scale as shown before, same method to get the same height of the color bar. And when we are finished, we should rename it to something logic. It could be scale, wind, summer, and say OK. Close it and drag it onto the sheet like this and remove the title. And when they are legends, we can place the same legends on more than just one sheet. This we couldn't have done if we have made these on drafting views. To summarize, here I've shown how to set up color legends from the simulation done within Vasari, created Revit legends, scaled them to have it in the same scale, created reference planes so we could place them in the same wave on the different sheets for both the solar radiation and wind simulation.